I'm here with Taylor and Athena, who have recently come back from our volunteering project in Cambodia for their schoolies. Yes, you can do volunteering for your schoolies trip in Cambodia. Girls, hi. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Well, first of all, Taylor, why did you choose Cambodia for your schoolies trip? Um, I chose to go there because it's a little bit different and pretty much I like the idea of volunteering and also it looked really cool. Um, because it was a combination of volunteering and doing other stuff, like going to temples and stuff. Sweet. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Good one. Athena, what do you think was the best part of the whole trip? Um, probably the time you got to bond with the children. Because that, that really brought out, it taught us a lot of lessons in terms of appreciation and gratitude and changed our perspective on a lot. So I think the kids were a huge part of the trip. Cool. So it was Monday to Friday, you'd volunteer at the orphanage yep. during the day. And then, yep. so that night time, what did you do after you know volunteering um, during, during the day? So um, it varies. Sometimes we'd go out shopping at the markets, um, yeah. and at night we'd just yeah, go out to um, restaurants and yeah, yeah. unwind for a bit. And on weekends, you've got like free time to get out and explore Cambodia, yeah. right? Um, it was good because a part of the trip, even though you got to volunteer, you also got to experience a new country and all the tourist things as well. So we got to visit the temples, um, we went to Kulin Mountain um, and the floating villages. So awesome. That was really good. Too. Great. Um, Taylor, what do you think? The benefit of traveling with Unleashed is on a trip like this? Um, so I thought Unleashed was really good because they book your flights for you. That was probably my favorite bit and also it was good having um, our leader over there, so ours is Ness. Yep. It was just really good having her there because she was, even though we didn't know her, so she was from home and yep. um, she sort of looked there after everyone and he knew that she could contact home if you need to, not she if you needed to, but yep, yeah, just yeah, it was, yeah, it was good. Yes. She was our travel mum. Yeah, travel she, mom. She, she travel turned mom. into our travel mom. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell her she called her mum. Yeah, yeah. So what now for you guys? You're back from Cambodia. What's what was this year hold? Um, well I'm gonna to go to um, University of New South Wales doing uni, but during my mid year break I'm hoping to go back to Cambodia because I kinda of promised the kids that I'd be back soon. Yeah, so I feel so. obliged to hurry up and go and it was just it was an experience that I just want to go back again. Yeah. It was just so incredible. Cool. Yeah, right. that's the same with me. I think I'll end up going back in a couple of years after I've done uni and different sorts of things. Mm -hmm. It was really good because it wasn't only the kids that went over there, but when we go back, we'd be like, oh, we'll see what's changed and yeah, things will be different. Cool. Which would be awesome. So yeah, it'd be good to see. Awesome. Oh, thanks very much. I'm stoked you guys had a good time. Thank you for telling us. Oh, <laughs> too easy. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you.